What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today we are going to talk about update patch 1.3 for Farming Simulator and we're going to talk about four features that I think are key for this update. The very very first one is going to be the fill percentage on tools and the crop names. So what we're going to do is we are going to jump right in here and we are going to take a look at this. So we're going to fill up, let's say, with oats. Well, now you can see at the bottom right hand corner that says oats now. Oh, yeah. So you know exactly what is in there. If it's oats, whatever it is. So we're going to bump over here. Same thing with this says barley at the bottom right hand corner and we can go through change that to anything that this can plant and it tells us what it is now this was a feature on pc already unfortunately it was not a giants thing it was because another modder had made it so very very cool i'm glad we have that now we also have the percentage so if we have eight thousand liters in here that's a hundred percent if we decide to dump some of it there you go. Now we have 87% left. That's so cool. This should have been a feature the whole time. This was in Farming Simulator 17. I don't know why it wasn't in 19. However, we have it back. Feature number two are the paint textures. So we can do grass now, which is super, super awesome. So what you want to go in, come in here, go to painting, and just tap over until you get to the grass. Now there are three different grass versions. There are the normal grass that you have there. You've got the grass with kind of a dirt below it. And then you have the dark green grass. So there you go, you can see three different grass and we have grass growing in them. Yes, look at that. The grass is growing, it moves, it bends. Everything that the normal grass does on the side this will grow and you can mow it if you would like now unfortunately because it's not a field you cannot come in and fertilize it and do all this other stuff but nonetheless we can have actual grass growing now there is a caveat to this however it only works in the two base game maps as of right now uh, my understanding is unless the modder for a map has put in a specific script, which I could not tell you what that is. I'm sure the modders out there go, yep, yep, I know which one it is, we'll put it in. Um, but I have no idea. I've tried this on a few different modded maps. So far I am zero for like five, I think. Uh, how many other maps we've come out with? I've tested them all, none of them have worked. So do keep that in mind, we do have grass now, this will grow. Feature number three is the steering sensitivity control. So this is amazing. I'm so happy that this has come in. So right now we have it at its lowest setting, which I believe is what Farming Simulator was beforehand. This is set to 50%. This is going to be in your general settings. Steering sensitivity, 50%. We can take that to 75, 100, 125, 150, 175, and 200. Here's 200. <laughs> this thing turns on a dime. So before you know that you could not turn very quickly, but now it is, I mean, very fast. I think around 100% is the way that Farming Simulator 17 was. This seems to be, I'm getting the same kind of steering vibe from 100. Now, of course, we are all used to 19 at this point. So what I've done is I'm doing it 75 just to kind of get myself used to it. I think 75 is about all I need because it's quick enough to where I can go the direction and turn when I want to. But it's slow enough to where it's not going to go like and just like take off to the side. I like this very, very much. And the last but certainly not least thing that I want to talk about today is this guy right here. And so you're going to find this in planters right here. Great Plains. It will now do corn, sunflowers, soybeans. It will do <laughs> sugar beets and it will do cotton. I am so happy that they decided to put that in there. We can also do wheat, barley, oats, canola, 
and we can do cover crop and grass with this as well. I believe we were able to do those things to begin with, but now we can literally do everything that we could do in 17. This is back to normal, and of course you can see down at the bottom, corn, sunflower, soybeans, sugar beets, cotton, wheat, barley, oats, canola, oilseed radish, and grass. Unfortunately, they're a little out of order. But nonetheless, this is back, this is working. I think a lot of people are gonna be using this now. I know myself, I am gonna be buying one of these. Oh yes, get hype, get excited. This guy is back working again. So guys, that is going to be it for today. Very, very short information, very quick information, but good nonetheless. I hope you've enjoyed, and I hope this has been helpful to you in some way, shape, or form. If it was, make sure you guys drop a like. If you didn't like it, make sure you drop a dislike. If you haven't already, make sure you get subscribed. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section below. Be happy to help you guys out. That being said, I hope you have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace.